one thing that we need to do when we're growing Meyer lemons in pots is we're going to need to periodically prune them. And this is very important in structuring the plant so that it fits in the growing space you have, but also creating a plant that's well branched to be able to support the fruit that's going to come in the future. Uh, this particular plant here is a great example of one that's really gotten out of control in the extent that there are some very long leads that have developed on this and those leads need to be pruned back so that we can actually create this round ball of growth. Many plants have what's called apical dominance in their growth, meaning that they find the top buds on the particular plant and then they'll force all their growth into that which creates these long leads. So here we are with a, a nice crown that's forming here but we have these long leads that have come out. Even one of them there has um, the beginning of a flower on it and we're simply going to head that back, both of these leads, to bring them down. Now it gets a little chopped up but that will send more shoots out and periodically a plant like this will have to have its leads cut back down as we encourage these side branches to grow and fill out. And another thing that you can do in your pruning is to just take the tips out of some of these uh, reaching leads which is going to cause those branches to break out and create two or three more leads. And as this plant grows and matures this top will get very full more of these smaller side branches will develop from which will hold your fruit and it will be contained in an area that can fit in any growing space of a home, sunroom, or conservatory. This is a young Meyer lemon that is being grown. It is a cutting that was grown. It grew, it grew two growths, has been pinched once right at the very tip there, which has forced two growths out. But now what we're getting is this rising growth on it. And a plant like this, its destiny is to be a potted plant on a windowsill, so we don't want this to become a large tree as we want it to become more of a bush. What we'll do is we're going to take this particular dominant lead here, and we're going to prune back some of that, not all of it, but we're going to prune back some of that, and it's very soft growth. You don't even need pruning shears. You simply can just pinch it with your fingers. And then we're going to take this lead right here, and we're going to just soft pinch the tip out of that, which is, again, any time a cut is made, it'll create two breaks, generally, which will thicken the plant up. It's important when they're young that we do this, because this will create the branching structure that not only will create a full plant, but will also allow the plant to hold its fruit without breaking branches.